I tell you, Lewis Oil's got the strike while the iron is sizzling. You all drill in Houston today, I'll guarantee you you'll strike tomorrow, and I do mean big. Well, I'll tell you something, Mr. Reese. I am tempted, I really am, but uh, I'm also a little wary. It seems to me that every time there's an oil crisis, people grab their drills and head off down to the Texas oil fields. Makes sense to me, Josh. Yeah, well, I'm a little worried about history repeating itself. I'm sure I don't have to remind you of what happened in the early 80s. Everybody and his brother put up a rig, and then everybody lost their shirt at the same time when the prices dropped. Now, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm just not going to be risking my family's money jumping on some bandwagon without some more information. Am I in the right place? I mean, is this Lewis Oil I'm talking to? I mean, the Lewis Oil I know takes risks. That's why they're a success. Lewis Oil is a success because we know when to adapt. Times have changed, Mr. Reese. It's a different game. You see these lights? These aren't the oil fields of Texas, and they're not the deserts of the Middle East. It's Springfield, USA. We play it safe here. Too darn safe, if you ask me. Larry. There's the Lewis Oil line. No, how are you? Good, how you doing? Hey, you'll have to forgive little brother here, but he's uh, just doing his job. And I thought that was your job. Oh, no, 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 hey. Little brother is the official watchdog of the Lewis family. Isn't that right, watchdog? Once upon a time, there was a girl who looked at her mean I death. still don't understand why my Uncle Josh has to watch me visit my dad. I'm ready for this day to be over. And you didn't answer my question from before. Which one is that? <laughs> the one about whether your mom is the reason my mom and dad split up? I think I'm ready for some ice cream. Who wants some ice cream? I want ice cream, I do. Tell me. No, 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 no. Why don't you ask your mother? Let her tell her. I'm not your mother. You're not my mother, and you tell me things. Be quiet. Did you ask your mother about this? Yeah, but she's no help. Please, Harley, explain it to me. No. No, I can't... I can't deal with this right now. I'm too tired for this. Harley stayed out late. I'm not in the mood for the Simpson kids. Thank you. Boy, was Daddy upset when he heard that Harley stayed out late. He was? Well, what did he say? Tell me, Mara. I know something you don't know. All right, come on, hurry up, please. Just bring it on here, put it in the center of the room. Excuse me, ma'am, but what do you got in this thing, bricks? <laughs> bricks? <laughs> no, no. My baubles, bangles, right? Shiny beads. Girl can't do without them, can she? Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, I guess it's time for me to go now. India. Anyone in or out? Not a soul. So now can I go to the toilet? Hey, you don't take your eyes off that house. You got it. You don't even blink. Any luck? Did you get him? I need bodies now. Well, uh, I think you can ask him yourself. Police Commissioner Braxton, State Attorney General Compton, and of course, District Attorney Flynn. Right, the big guns. What's going on? Where is this dead man? 
to the school. He's back from the grave. That's why the uniform's lots of it. I want to put a clamp in the city that he can't squeeze through. I don't like the smell of this. You know what? You're right. The guy stinks. No, Mr. Mallet. I don't like the smell of you. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Fixident for a hold that really makes a difference. Fixident and forget it. Mara, let's make a deal. You tell me everything that Daddy did last night, and I'll let you stay up late. I'll read you your favorite bedtime story twice. You don't have to wash your face. What about my hands? Hey, Mara, what about me? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No deal unless you talk to Bill. You really are your father's daughter, you know that? <laughs> no, no, I can't do that. Bill's situation is too serious to play games. So was Daddy last night. No, no, forget it. The deal is off. I'm not going to get in the middle of Billy and Vanessa. Why? Come on, Bill, let's go upstairs. He's no fun. Yeah. Let's watch the VCR. I know I should have called. No, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Come, come. Okay, it's just that I made all this food, you know. I mean, I'm cooking like I still have mouths to feed. And I thought I'd share it with you and Rick, otherwise it would be wasted. Oh, well, smells delicious. Great, great. We'll have it for, uh, we'll have it for dinner. So, you didn't cook? Or... No, I was, I was busy painting. you ought to take better care of your husband. Mama, what is that? Well, honey, I, I know it's none of my business, but he is your husband. I'll never understand why you married him, but since that's the way the chips have fallen, I think you better start acting like a wife. Mama, that's not the way it is between Rick and me. Well, why not? He's a man. He works hard at the hospital all day. I'm sure he deserves a little dinner when he comes home. Oh, come on. Rick's not like that. It's just... Uh, oh, honey, what's for dinner? Hi, Rick. Hi, Louie. I'm going to go check out what's... In the kitchen. What do you think, Miss Ellen? No. Uh, is that guy still out there? Yeah. <laughs> what should I do? Serve him dinner or something? Is that proper etiquette? There's some there's some guy in the corner, too, and I, I know he's a cop. Everybody is a cop. I'm wondering if the casserole. Bugged. Rick, I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm losing my mind. No, you won't, Beth. I'm not going to let you do that. If I don't see Philip, I'm going to go crazy. Beth, I feel it. Stop torturing I'm... yourself. You can't see Philip now. It's too dangerous, all right? I don't care. Right? I have to. This is not just about you and Philip. It's about me, too, okay? Don't forget about me. Dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. you Beth Rains. Bauer. Yes, Bauer. Do you know what your husband did today? He saved a life. Doesn't that deserve something from you? Some kindness, some attention, some dinner? Mama, you don't understand. I understand he has been crazy about you since he was 17 years old. That he has made sacrifices to, to, to marry you and to raise another man's baby. If you can't reciprocate, 
Then, darling, you don't deserve him. Better? Yeah. I think I got the stink of that flop house off me. <laughs> Bill is falling, spending an entire night in a Fifth Street flop house. Hey, there might be a poem in that. At least some blank verse. So what do you think? Well, well. Be it ever so humble. Actually, it's quite sunny. Yeah. But you'll have to keep the curtains closed. And there really is a lovely garden out back. Of course, you won't be able to use it. Of course. There's not another house for miles. You can't see the road from the highway, no, so... No, it's fine. Really. It's perfect. Couldn't be any better. Better be, otherwise we'll be neighbors in prison. Come on, Philip. Eat something. I'm not hungry. You gotta eat something. I'm not hungry, Andy. I don't want to You eat. look positively gaunt. Not that it's unattractive. <laughs> in a wan, wasted by love sort of way. Why is this hat? <laughs> oh. I was supposed to be separated from Beth for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Now it's months. This is hell, you know that? This is just hell. And the whole idea was so that we could be together. And it's all just falling apart. It's all coming crumbling down. And the only things that have been accomplished by all of this is that Rick has got his neck in the noose and Beth is pregnant without me. And, and of course, you're going to get rich, which is definitely a highlight. Now, come on. You're just going to depress yourself. India, why don't, uh, why don't you just go on and get out of here? Go, go see Gary. He'll cheer you up. I have something for you. From Beth. That's from Beth? It's just a baby book, for heaven's sake. She marked those pages and said she'd be looking at them at 8 o'clock tonight. What, at 8 o'clock? That's my cue to go. India, will you do me a favor? Will you take a letter to Beth from me before 8 o'clock? I have plans, Oh, Come on, can't you change them? No, I can't. India, please. Oh, come on, please. I'm begging you. What's at stake here, Mr. Merlin? Everybody in this room, all of us, all of our careers could go up in smoke. Yours included. Yours especially. Can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. You know, that's the difference between you guys and me. You say career, I say job. I got a job to do when I'm doing it. Only if I say so. I think you have certain questions to answer. All the answers are in Spalding's file. Not about Spaulding, about you. Hey, who's under investigation here? Mallet. Certain things have come to my attention. What things? From who? That's not important. You know, I love how you career boys waste time and money going after the good guys. Look, going after the Spaldings, you have to be clean. Are you clean, Mallet? I'm curious why you took an extended leave of absence after your last case. What is none of your business? Mallet? I'm making it my business. Mallet, you want the cooperation of the police force. You have to answer to him. You know, now you're not used to that, are you, Mr. Mallet? You're not used to being accountable. You would rather create this big, splashy case. I didn't create this case. Philip Spaulding did. And you're going to lose him going after me. Why don't you just give me some cops, get these ambulance chasers out of here? You start answering questions now, Mallet. Otherwise, you are off this case, and I mean now. can't take me up the case. What are you going to do, replace me? I got this case in my head. I know all the players, how they think and how they operate. Mallet, this is potentially the biggest powder keg of a case the state has ever seen. Someone gets you who is Spaulding? So Spaulding's turn you on to me? That's not the point. Don't you think it's a little odd that suddenly somebody's interested in me? I mean, doesn't that make sense? Think about it. 
Somebody's trying to sabotage this case. We don't even know for sure that Philip Spaulding is guilty. Then why'd he fake his own death? Why'd he run away? If he wasn't guilty before, he's guilty now. Come on, trust me. Let me do my job. I'll bring him to you. Hey, your career's gold. I've got my eye on you, Mallet. Not a bad end to run, Mallet. Look here. I'm not a fan of lawyers either. I'm a cop, like you. I'll give you the men you need, but I don't want to lose them, any of them. You got yourself off the hook about that, that leave of absence, but I know what went down. A lot of people got hurt on that case. You needed a breather. I can understand that. But that isn't going to happen here. Not to my people. Not even to Philip Spaulding. I want Spaulding alive. Again. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Alive. Again. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> I'm serious, Mallet. Fun yet? Oh, when the heat comes down, it sure does come down in a hurry. What was that all about? Huh, Mallet? What's in your past I don't know about? All clear? Yeah. I'm sorry I snapped at you, Beth. I'm just edgy and very tired. What are you doing? Let me do this. I heard you saved a life today. Not me. Dr. St. John did. I just... Stayed out of his way. Ah, uh, that's not what I heard. Rick. I I'm not going to pressure you anymore about Philip, but just talk to me. Tell me what is going on. What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on, Ben. I'm a fake. My whole life is a charade. I'm a fake husband. I'm a fake friend. You are a real doctor. Yeah, I'm a great doctor, except I have absolutely no ethics. If they only knew what I, what I was capable Don't of doing. Don't do this to I am a fraud. Not to me. I am so sorry. You have sacrificed so much for me. I am so sorry, Rick. It's crazy, isn't it? What? Oh, I was just thinking about earlier. When the baby kicked, how... How happy that made me. Well, he's doing a can-can right now. I was just waiting for little Billy. He's over at uh, Josh's. Come on in. Come on in. Is Vanessa, is everything all right? No. Huh. No, things are not all right. <laughs> Tell me about it. I just squirmed out of a meeting with Daddy and Uncle Josh. You could have cut the tension with a machete. W why does Daddy have to see little Billy at Uncle Josh's? Why don't you sit down? Your father and I have split up. 
Again? No. For good. Right. Now, come on, Vanessa. I've heard that before. What did you fight about this time? No, no, no. This is serious. Okay. This is different. All right? Okay. I, I don't know why. I have to be the one to tell you about this. I mean, I think he could at least take responsibility for Vanessa, this. Vanessa, just tell me. He's been seeing Nadine Cooper. What? It's true. <laughs> I don't believe that. Nadine told me, Mindy. It's true. Well, no. She's a troublemaker. Why would you believe her? I mean, she's lying. She's not lying. It was right there in front of me, and I just didn't want to see it. <sighs> I'm, uh... I'm speechless. Why, why Nadine? Because she's his type. She's a party girl. And Billy likes to party. Vanessa, that doesn't make sense. Yes, it does, think. He started drinking again. <clears throat> no. Yes, he has. And I'm not going to be around. I never want to be around him again when he's... Vanessa! Yes? Hey, sorry to barge in. Is Billy here? We had a dinner date and he never showed up. I hate him. I just hate him. What was that all about? Dylan, look, we gotta talk. Come on, let's get out of here. I just wish I could feel like the old days. Yeah, I think the old days are dead and gone. It's no more blood and sweat. Now it's all margins and market research. It takes people like Vanessa and Josh here to figure out the safe bets. Oh, hey, now, Josh hadn't always played it safe. How's that beautiful wife of yours anyway? Oh, now, don't tell me you and Reva got divorced, because I just won't believe it. Uh, Reeves. Uh, Reeves passed away. Oh, my goodness gracious, I am so sorry. <sighs> Put my foot in it, didn't I? Joshua, I'm sorely sad to hear that. I hope you will accept my sincere condolences. Of course. Well, good to see you, Billy. Good to see you, too. Reese, you stop by any time. Well, wouldn't Reva just be turning in her grave know how you and Vanessa are carrying on? doesn't put you on a short leash. You really are crazy, aren't you? Oh, he... Now, I think it's crazy. I think Reba would think it's crazy. But I can't see my own boy without you dogging my tracks. That is crazy, Josh. How do you think she would feel about you drinking again? Or, or the fact that you're sleeping with Nadine Cooper? Did that little witch Harley tell you? No, she didn't. Well, because it's a lie. Is it really? Yeah! Come on, Billy. Who are you trying to kid? What's the deal? You, you don't even know the difference between a lie and the truth anymore, is that it? I'll tell you what the truth is, John. I lost Vanessa, I lost my son, I lost my future. And, uh, now it looks like I'm losing you. Billy, but if Vanessa is taking the one person that I can always count on in my life. And using them against me, I'm sorry, it just hurts. Yeah, well, it hurts me, too. I hate being in the middle, Billy. Yeah, we won't be for long. Things have got to change. I just hope you don't have to make a choice between Vanessa and me, because right now, I'm not real sure which side you'd choose. Something over. Anything else? Nope. It's pretty quiet. Tucked in for the night, and the bedroom light's still on. Keep me posted. What are they doing in that bedroom? Playing cards? I mean, who do they think they're fooling? What are you looking at? Mysterious AC mallet. Why won't you tell me about your past case? Forget about the past. It's over. I'm interested in now. 
like working by myself. I mean, all alone. But I gotta tell you, supervising a manhunt this complex makes me wanna... Makes me wanna what? Makes me wanna... Eat. You hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> Good, let's get out of here. Nobody's looking, silly. <laughs> okay. Mara, Go back to bed, Mara. But I can't sleep. If you wake up, Shane, I'm gonna eat you on a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Except when Uncle Josh is around. Why? He's too serious, too bossy all the time. Yeah, I know what you mean. He thinks he can boss me around like he's my dad or something. Well, he's not. My dad will set him straight. <sighs> Everything was going so great. My dad was back with us. He was going to stay forever. Then my mother kicked him out. It's all her fault. Well, now, you can't blame your mother for everything. It takes two to tango. Maybe it's my fault. No. No way. It's not your fault, Billy. They fight over me all the time. Well, grown-ups do that. They use something as an excuse so they don't have to show what's really bothering them. What's really bothering them? Oh, Billy, please. Come on, Harley. Tell me. Is it your mom? No. I honestly believe it's not. Well, what? I think it's... It's the fact that your mother just can't trust your father. Hmm. That's happened before. One time, me and my mom had to go down to Venezuela to take care of my dad. He had fallen down and hit his head. He's in the hospital. And I heard my mother tell someone how she couldn't trust my dad. She was pretty sad. Really? Well, how did your dad fall down? Little Billy, honey, go inside, get your things. But, Daddy! Go, please. No! Go inside, get your things. But I haven't seen my Daddy yet. I know, sweetie, I'm sorry about that, but that's your Daddy's fault, and we've got school tomorrow. I'm gonna see my Dad. Just go inside and get your things. Looks like I'm here. You're late. We're leaving. No, not, not yet, you know. We're leaving now. Like hell, you say. Look, I'm sorry, Vanessa. So and I was at a business meeting. That's why I'm a little late. That's okay. Hey, Billy, um, why don't you go inside and get your things like your mom told you to? But, Dad... Bill, please. Really great, you know. You make me look like the heavy when you're the one who's been lying and cheating and drinking yourself into oblivion. Look, You uh, have to look like a hero to your son, don't you? Wh why don't we go inside and talk about this? You know what was happening here? Harley Cooper was explaining to your son why we broke up, and I Vanessa, just managed I'll, to stop her in time. I'll talk to her, okay? I mean, she's she's got a good heart. She means well. Uh-huh. Well, you better talk to her about Mara, too, because apparently there was some kind of, I don't know what, at school today. Excuse me, could you keep your mind on your own family here for one second? Would you please not criticize me? I'm not the one with the morals of an alley cat. I'm going inside to see my son, and I'll have you know... And I'm not putting up with any of this watchdog bull. Not here, not anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. Just as long as you keep on drinking, you are. For your information, I am not drinking, which is kind of amazing, considering how impossible it is to live up to the expectations of the great and wonderful Vanessa Chamberlain. Sorry, Josh. No, don't be sorry. It's okay. for me to do this? Bring all this ugliness into your house? No, Vanessa, you brought a lot of things into my house. Ugliness is not one of them. I'll tell you what, uh, why don't you head on home? Give them their time together. I'll, I'll bring Bill by later, okay? Just 
prove Philip's innocence before... Before what? Before the baby is born. Looking at this together. This is how the baby, our baby, looks now. Son, I'm gonna you have to go, but everything's gonna be okay. Just trust but me. Mom. Don't worry about your mom. I'll take care of her. Okay. That's my boy. Josh, you don't know. That place is awful. It's terrible. It's not the kind of place that Mara should be in. It's the school her mother enrolled her in is the one she's gonna go to. Well, I don't think she would have kept her there. Harley. I don't. Josh, you don't know that place. Those mothers are, like, laminated. Is that the way you want your daughter to Look end up? Look who's throwing stones. Somebody who stays out all night long? Two o'clock is not out all night long. I thought we'd already been through all this. Not to my satisfaction. Course, you still haven't told me why you were fighting with Blake. No, and I never will. I am ready for this day to end. Look, Josh. You'd have to tell Vanessa that uh, it's just in your own work. You're the one's gonna have to tell her because she certainly won't listen to me. You got everything? Where's my turtle? Missing one turtle. What is this? That's my dad's. Son? I'm, uh...
for this? There ain't no need to tell Josh about this, no need at all. You got that? Yeah, I got that. say really just got too hard that's all oh i'm sorry honey i really am i don't know how much heartache a person can take you look tired sarah me oh i guess i am well why don't you give me the keys and i'll run up and get those singles for you that sounds like an offer i can't refuse here you take the key you mind? No, no, go on. Take the ribbon from your hair. Shake it loose and let it fall. Laying soft upon my skin. You know what? Let's get out of here. I'm not that hungry. Not for food, anyway. It's all right. It's all right. We can't eat. Let's eat. I got nothing to hide. Hi, you guys thirsty? Yeah, some wine. Give me a beer. You need an attorney? You want to be appointed to me. You cannot afford one. What are you doing? What's going on here? I'm arresting your sister. Man, what happened? She willfully harassed an officer of the law. In front of witnesses. No, sir, not here. Not in my establishment. I'll call the police. I am the police. Okay, that's ridiculous. Come on. Well, young man, I want you to leave now. Hey, we're out of here. Wait, wait, wait. This, you don't have to do this. Give her a break. <laughs> message for you from Billy. He asked me to tell you that this arrangement is not going to work anymore. And that you're the one that's going to have to change your attitude. I see. Hi, sweetie. Why don't you uh, go on upstairs and I'll be up in just a minute or two to tuck you into bed. Upstairs to bed and lights 
That's it? Yeah. You said you want to know everything that happened. The lady in the cloak showed up. I'm letting you know. No, no, I appreciate it. It's very good. Thanks. Keep up the good work. You know what? I'm really getting sick of this. I've had enough of you. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yes. Jim. This is going to be a long night. Did you give Beth my letter? I wanted to hear you say. has been Guiding Light. Be sure to be with us tomorrow for another full hour of Guiding Light.